Hello. Well, today I'm here to just briefly talk about Martin Scorsese's new film, The Irishman. I got to see this on the big screen, so I didn't have to just wait for it to be on Netflix, and honestly, I'm glad I saw it on the big screen. Um, it was a three and a half hour film. But it was well worth it. It was, an, it, it's, it's, it's a fantastic movie. Worth it up to up to up to the end. It's just, it's one of those movies where, um, you know, words can't do it justice. You just have to see it. Um, and I know I've said that a few times with certain movies, but honestly, I do believe that to be the case with this movie. Any of Ford versus Ferrari in a way, um, but I think even more so with the Irishman because it is a ver has a very epic feel to it. Martin Scorsese has upped his game incredibly for this film. The first time Robert De Niro has been in a film uh, with Scorsese since Casino, as with uh, Joe Pesci, who. Um, Again, it hasn't worked with him since uh, uh, Casino. And Pesci has been a pretty much a, uh, unofficially retired for many years, coming back here and there occasionally. Um, uh, but, you know, and apparently he turned down the part. He, he eventually played um, different times, I think a couple of times at the very least. Um, but, yeah, he, he, he turned the, the part down, but then he... Eventually, said yes, and he did it. And Joe Pesci is incredible, and obviously Robert De Niro is too. Um, but, yeah. There, apologies for that, but yeah, it was Taxi Driver. Uh, that's my favorite Martin Scorsese fi Scorsese film. I have um, talked about that before. Can't believe uh, maybe I'll talk about that the film again sometime. Um, but you know, it's a Scorsese film, and it's it, I, it's just incredible. And Al Pacino is amazing. Al Pacino, I I love Al Pacino. I De Niro and Pesci. And Harvey Keitel is in this film, though he, he's not in it as much as you might think. Then again, the last trailer, he, he's shown a bit here and there. Um, Ray Romano plays uh, Joe Pesci's uh, cousin, at least, uh, yeah, uh, who's a lawyer. Now, um, what's his name? Uh, Bill Buffalino. Uh, yeah, and Russell Buffalino is uh, Joe Pesci. Ray Romano plays Bill. Angelo Bruno is Harvey Keitel. That's who he plays. And then obviously uh, Frank Sheeran is played by uh, Robert De Niro. And Al Pacino plays Jimmy Hoffa. And this film tells uh, Frank Sheeran's account of what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. He was pretty good friends with him over the years. And yeah... The ending of what happens to Hoffa and how they made him disappear, or made him disappear, whatever, that was a very bad pronunciation on my part, but how they made him disappear and everything, you know, it seems plausible. Um, I mean, his body was never found. We don't truly know what happened. Many people have claimed to say this is what happened, that's what happened. There's been some films about Hoffa, or that involve Hoffa and his disappearance in some way. Um, this is a very interesting take, especially since, not just because it's a uh, Martin Scorsese, Scorsese film, but, uh, but he, he, it, it's interesting to see it from the perspective perspective of a man who was a friend of Hoffa's and who sort of like rose in the ranks of like the mob and 
how the, how they were involved with the Teamsters and you know, Hoffa because it was the president of them, you know, all that stuff. And it's, it's very interesting in how all that came about uh, from the perspective of obviously uh, Frank Sheeran. He's the Irishman. It, it is truly it is an it is an interesting film it's a very great film I I don't know I I could continue to s sit here and just continue talking about the same thing over and over but I don't want to do that um, I'm sure you wouldn't want me to just essentially just go on for like 10 to 15 or even 20 minutes saying the exact same thing. It's it's very good. It is in theaters, uh, in select theaters, um, at least across America. Um, so if you're able to, because I heard you know, when to see this movie, uh, like I guess uh, just all the way up until uh, December... Fifth is when it's gonna play at the theater that I saw it at. Um, it's the only theater around here. It's not very far from where I live, so it's very accessible. Um, but you know, it's like this might be the only time I'll ever get to see a film that Al Pacino is directed by Martin Scorsese. Well, he co-stars with De Niro and Joe Pesci. I'm like, I, I have to see this on the big screen some way. You know, if if I'm able to. Because sometimes limited releases in select theaters, where that doesn't really come to Iowa. It does not come here. Um, like, like Chicago, it would probably go there. A film like this, it was just a typical re limited release. Because um, it doesn't seem like it was going to have a nationwide release, really, since it's with Netflix in. You know, you can just watch it on Netflix, and I think if, if that's your only option, then great. But if you have the option to see it on the, bi the big screen, I'd say do that. Don't watch it on Netflix right away because it's like you're 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 ruining the experience so, uh it's an experience that it's worth it to see on the big screen um i i, I just uh, i just love this film It's 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 just yeah I don't know uh, again I'm a, I'm at a loss for words it's an incredible film um, uh, Taxi Driver is another film I think I could probably be at a loss for words I'd be able to talk about it for quite a bit but then after a while just gotta see the movie though that might be an easier film to talk about since it's been out for over 40 years and many people have seen it where this film is pretty much brand new essentially um, the beginning of this month was in slick theaters and now it has just recently come out where I live um, and so yeah I just I'm just yeah I just I just love this film. It was an incredible movie. I I'd love to see it again, and of course, you know, if Netflix, I can. You know, I don't just go to the theater again at a certain time and sit in a theater for three and a half hours. Because again, it is three and a half hours, but it is three and a half hours that is well worth it. It is. An, it's a fantastic movie. <sighs> I just, yeah. Everybody brought their A game. The story is interesting. Uh, 
even if it seems to be slow at the beginning, you know, it's building up to the end. And then when you look back or think back, it was well worth watching all of that to just see how all this comes to a close. And it, it is amazing. It's a fantastic movie. I uh, I hear people say it could get nominated for awards. I can definitely see that. Would it definitely win awards or not? I don't know. Same with, you know, Ford versus Ferrari. Could get nominated for a lot of awards. Would it win? I don't know. Uh, you never know. But, again, awards don't really mean much. Some of the best films were either neglected to get nominated for major awards or it got nominated but didn't win. Uh, so that's always that's always important to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. Anyway, fantastic movie. Uh, great performances, great direction. Writing is great. Everything is fantastic with this film. One of, I, I would say it is one of the best films Martin Scorsese has made. Um, Taxi Driver, to me, will always be the best film I have seen of his and Robert De Niro. At least in terms of their collaboration. And, and in many ways, performance also from De Niro. But I just, I, yeah, I just love this movie. Uh, can't wait to watch it again. Um, but, you know, and it's, it's like Thanksgiving time, you know. Obviously, I'm recording this before you see it on Friday, but I will definitely probably watch it again at some point this weekend. Uh, it's just that good. So... There is that. Uh, hope you found this video interesting. Uh, maybe if you weren't sure about watching The Irishman, maybe this will persuade you. Maybe not. Perhaps you've already seen it. If so, do you like it? Do you not? Uh, you can comment if you want to, or you don't. Uh, it's up to you. But, yeah, I hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, or I hope you, if you're here in America, you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend, um, and I hope you'll have a great week next week. Um, so, until next time.